The Hawk family of four is now in their new home. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. Yes, he did. It was High Dragon versus High Dragon. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she made her name, settling her debts with the mercenaries. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're. No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We've fought Darkspawn. Look, precious, I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I kind of really got bored of it because it's the only thing that matters for you. Alright, we've already used that line. This expedition can open doors for us in this city. We have to go with you. Get in line, human. Of Kirkwall, We're pretty much all reduced to begging, right so it's not like we can make a You're good point here. Quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. All right. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. Gamlin. He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. Hmm. I wouldn't trust him with a silver. But dear uncle's at least as sleazy as Bartrand. How's that for a compliment? He got us into Kirkwall. We've been safe so far. We might as well ask. Otherwise... Oh, look who's behind our I don't know what we'll twin do. siblings here. Remember, Bethany and Carver are not supposed to be in the same scene, so they, their characters will literally... Hey! A cut purse! Oh, man. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the Merchant's Guild. Might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> how do you do? Very so now you get it, basically, uh, just like how Andrei's uh, Awakening did it, your new Mark. companions are all given an opportunity if it hit him a cutscene that introduces what their skill you set is would. like in order to would. convince you to add them to what your party. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. 
Look at this Dwarf and Orzammar theme. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartram's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. Ah, right. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. We're not in a position oh, to argue with you, sir. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. Serving with the Red Iron is no mean feat. Yet you not only served, you impressed. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. Oh. Um, so. All right. Okay. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete... That's a good game? question. I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. It sounds interesting. Yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of going on an expedition if we could just get 50 sovereigns to live high. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Let's keep talking. There might be nothing down Just to be clear, we have no experience with the deep roads, sir. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there. Then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. That's cool. Like the Okay. No problem. You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. Not every investigation option is worth taking if it makes you sound like a, a doubtful Easy. moron. But maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, high tech. Emigrant achievement. Where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. We're almost at level 8. In fact, I might as well just not even bother leveling up until we get past that. Well, Actually, <laughs> you, then. okay, that's hilarious. All right. Yeah, you what's seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. Hark, 
Long time no see, I mean, my friend. Brothers sometimes well, just if it isn't worthy, the, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You still with the red iron? It was just a year you were with them, right? Yes, I'm done with that. Good for you. Always nice to see someone striking out on their own. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Rune crafting over there. A lot the crafting station that allows you to buy to have pay to have someone make runes for you, but we're not really in a position to use that because it's just whatever. Now, this is the new map. We have some things we can do. Long way home to go to Mount Sun Mount, or just... Basically, you only play in the one city and go outside to the mountains to talk to the Dalish. That's what you're doing in this game. You lived in Orzammar. <coughs> Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with nug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still working for that brutish thug, Mirren. Things have been going well since then. <laughs> oh, yeah. It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I supplied the Red Iron with potions. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. And you get potions to make as well. There we go. New and improved, Bianca. I do mean new and improved. It doesn't just improve level up. Nine dexterity, chance not back, bonus attack speed. Barracks. Tailored leather duster.
These are your shops. The sugar cakes are pretty much there in order to improve. The sugar cakes is a mod. With this mod, the feast day gifts and pranks. Um, it's a feast day prank style mod that allows you to very rapidly boost your companion's approval, depending on whether or not it's in the positive or the negative array. Better than being cooped up with Gamlin. No offense to your uncle, but this house smells like really old cabbage. All right then. Well, we're basically homeless. That's what happens in the refugee lifestyle. ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. There's nothing uglier than an inheritance battle. God, there really genuinely isn't. The heck is this battle? Oh, did I just... Well, I don't expect that to happen. So, uh, the mod we're using here is called... Morozik 75 Arsenal. Basically, all these new weapons and armor we have, I believe. Well, the armor is a comp couple of oven mods, straight up. I'm with you, sister. For now. My children have been in servitude, okay. servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. This is the way things are. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Money doesn't grow on trees. No matter how much you Your want to, to make that to work. The Comte de Lancet, and it's Arranged marriages are a an apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. He's... It's not here, all right? It was red. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. You probably look like a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. Why? Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. I know the Amels were nobility, Mother, but not much else. You know who's you also an Amel? The hero of Ferelden, the our cousin. Well, as far as his safe imports concerned, anyway. Blight. We've always carried magic in our blood. 
The hero of Ferelden was one of ours, you know. One of my cousin Revka's children. The Circle took them all. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Oh, of course not. Why should you do something reasonable? Sounds like a yes to me. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. What daft bastard leaves that behind? It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to yeah, you. Yeah, this is a little fishy. Was it the Reinhardt? Where are you hiding, no uncle? You know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. But, oh. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about <laughs> Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be mother's, do you think he would tell us? <laughs> mm. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Look, if you want to join the fight over who lost the most, fine. But I never lived here. Mother even gave me her old key to try and stir something. But I didn't know Grandfather. Finding his will doesn't matter to me. Hey, we get to talk to both of them at the same... Right, the, the mod, the twin switch mod... It's just so good right now. This part of mod. Yeah, Twinception. It's not Twin Switch. Twinception. And I just absolutely love the fact that this is the one quest line that really needs to matter the most. And it was done, rearranged wonderfully so far. Just to make it very clear that Hawk is talking to both her siblings at the same time. We're scraping to bribe Bartrand, and you don't think having an estate would help? Sure it would, but it won't be free. How much unwanted attention will warring with slavers get us? What have you heard? Uncle's a chatty drunk. He was up to his neck and signed everything over. That's who has the estate. Apparently, the most extensive wine cellar in Kirkwall is now a slave highway from the Undercity. That's the family legacy. All right. Good. Then we can break in, and I don't care if we kill them. Only one thing their kind deserves. We agree at last. All right, sister. If the key works, we'll clear the estate from the Undercity up. No. I don't know if this will help. But I do feel like hitting someone. All right. All right. Where, where's my? All right. Demon's hands. Oh. Uh. Staff again.
We're gonna do the birthright side quest, but we're not gonna bring anyone else along but us. Yeah, this game is pretty much the most depressing thing ever. Oh my god. Well, this looks like the place. If the sellers go this far, maybe we were important. Let's do it then, buddies. Alright, little brother and baby sis. Let's go destroy some slavers and get our, well, put our house back. Well, we're not going to get our whole house back. You fix it! You... Yeah. There. I have something really spare. I kept it up. Get ready! Yeah, it's not really fancy about this place. We're just going inside in order to, like, uh... History of Kirkwall. Don't care about the history of Kirkwall. It's not super important. Uh... And here we go again. Assassins work in the shadow. Lead on. We got both of Bethany Carver's companion quests now. Portia Pass and Tobias. Bethany might leave her old portrait of her mother, so her back back in Gamma's house. And if the mage Tobias is alive, he might be in the gallows, to find a face of the light of the father's belongings. Nice. The Ap Bell Crest. Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Put that above your door and you better have the ties to back it up. Otherwise you just look old. Oh, it's so nice. That, like, here's the thing. You're never really going to hear Bethany and Carver directly have a conversation with each other. That's not really possible. But... But it's so nice to play as both of them together. Like, one of the things I don't like about this game is that it tries to focus on Hawk's family. But the rest of the story is so dead set on removing their family from me. That doesn't feel like there's a legitimate connection to even make. Oh, well, there you go. Blood magic is here. We're gonna start by getting blood magic. Why not?
Chapter 2 of Kirkwall's history. Alright then. And. Did that bastard gang put you up to this? I knew I should have slit his throat. We are going to have Surprise! All right, that's that should be enough. That's right, you heard me. That's enough. I am not Carver, Carver definitely needs a weapon that's appropriate for his level at this point. Master Slaver Valky, another piece of eight. Put your mother. By all means, lead on. Ah. All right. That has to be the vault. Everything we want to know about our family. Bethany gets fifteen well. friendship just for you bring her here. It's super easy to level up Bethany's friendship, but really difficult to max out Carver's. Really. This is the part that might break this game for me in a way I may not like. 100 gold right off the bat means we can pretty much just pay for Gamma's nonsense. But, Amela's state guard, guard's tunic. Manager Amela's patrol gown. Alright. Sure, prove a level up. <laughs> Patrol the town. Alright. This is it! Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. We'll take it to her right now. No problem. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Um, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. <laughs> yeah. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend, to be controlled by you. Yeah, Gamma, you messed up, buddy. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? So, here's the problem with this. Oh, I said earlier that, um... 
I said earlier that, uh, you know, when it comes to, like, inheritance um, issues within families, it's super easy to make someone look like the bad guy no matter what happened. It's super easy to do that. And everyone in this particular family eventually gets... Alright. Gamlin's kind of turned into a straw man here for the sake of this entire family feud. And not a super huge fan of it because really his argument is actually pretty sound and Leandre is in her own way being kind of selfish. When it comes to family matters, uh, everyone, no one wants to think that they're the one that's doing something wrong to the rest of the family when they get into a debate like this. From the outside looking in, there's not really a good reason to see Gamlin as being scummy over this. Even if he was... Being the family in favor isn't fun. When you know you're not the favorite, that's not fun. Gamlin's kind of not really given... Like, Gamlin's... Literally letting everyone else stay without expecting Leandre to work. This is his house. Without him, we wouldn't be here. That's the bottom line. It's not unreasonable for him to, like expect someone to help pay rent. Not really. If it wasn't for the Blight, would we ever have come back here? I always thought I would. But I suppose you three are Ferelden to your toes. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect so I'm glad I took the option to let me agree it's with Gamlin a little know. bit. Mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Complete the birthright quest to get the birthright achievement. Now, I'll be right... Oh, Mogul as well, because I do have the 50 gold. Here, might as well use it. Might as well use it. Now, where are we? Let's talk to Mom. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. <sighs> I don't... I mean, look, this is like... I don't really want to get into I'm glad your member of your family's gone nonsense right, right now. Right right now, that's... That's not what my energy at the moment. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But she would have loved you. All three of not you. Really. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartrand's expedition leaves. All right, Bethany first. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. There's no value in me. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. 
You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. <laughs> all right. They might have been all right with the Ferelden thing. But just imagine if they'd known you were an apostate. You're such a wretch. I was just hoping it would be different this time. Here in Kirkwall. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. I'm so very tired of running. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't even blame you. This is just much of nonsense. Hello, Lord Carver. We're still a long way from cowing Templars with our titles, sister. Is there something you would do differently, brother? It's not up to me. We're on pace to recover an old name for an old woman. And when we're done, I don't know, I guess we'll sit around thinking about how great we used to be. Mother didn't even want that life back until we got dumped here. And you only care because we're under Templar scrutiny. The Second Child Act is getting pretty stale, brother. Try it from this side. Always running after you, or taking care of mother while you mark your territory. That's enough, Carver. Even back home, what could I be? The lone blade in a house of mages. If I excelled, it brought too much attention. Man, that's like... Well, good talk. Man, talk about having a chip Sister. on your shoulder, man. Just... The inferiority complex coming off this man's broad shoulders. It's like mother taking everything out on us. She was just scared. I don't have a the place in the life she so is trying to bring better. back. This is what I'm I here want. if you need me. I love it. But I must find she my own way. Freaking love it. All right. Let's see here. Uh. I'm with you, sister. Okay. <clears throat> I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. She was much happier with Father. I know she loved Father. I guess I just wondered. Hawks is kind of stingy because I that would mean my if my daddy mage. mage is weird. I used to wish I had just been taken by the circle like our cousins. I could have been the hero of Ferelden. <laughs> Maybe then mother would have stopped second guessing herself. It's nice to have Yeah, Ryan it's kind of weird, but basically the Hawk her. family are distant cousins of the mage warden you can play as optionally. Gift giver. I'm with you, sister. For now. Let's see. Uh. Where is the Torpor's barrier ruin? Celestia removes arm stat requirements. Alright. Now we have Summoner. 
which is definitely interesting. But we'll get to what Summer does very late in the game. We got the recipes for a bunch of rooms now. Cardinal rules of magic. Okay. Knight's sword. Just knight back. Okay. So, let's get this part started. of apostates? Not even a little? Sunshine, I'm a dwarf. In case you missed that detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over oh. trade deals. Who has time to worry about apostates with a merchant's guild breathing down your neck? In that case, I see. So, let's talk to Varric here. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartram can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Alright. Okay. I fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the deep roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? I mean, not specifically. The don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking. But if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. All right, then. <laughs> Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. Yeah, Varric, where will we be without you? Is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Pharrell... Yay, we have a Grey Warden to help us out. Oh, yeah. Marine has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. You know that guy Marlowe at the bar downstairs? Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. So this is where Varric basically lives. Also, the talkative loon is... a character. You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Do you ever feel oh, like you thought I meant talk. I was talking about Gamlin. Like everything I made, I hate him. He's a lot less complex than it used to be. Do you ever feel like you're part of a story that someone's Yeah, aren't you hilarious? All right, let's see here. Welcome to the Hanged Man. What's the word on the street? 
After the Blight was defeated in Ferelden, the Circle of Magi was given its autonomy. That'll be a disaster. Uh, also, on PlayStation 3, you were not able to properly have the Circle Magi boon properly read and given its flag. So, even if you picked it, no one in the game would recognize your choice in Dragon Age 2. Any other news? Apparently, the Kunari are just waiting for a ship to take them back to Parvolan. Hope it comes soon. Any other news? You ever met the Viscount Dumar? The man doesn't use his head for anything but storage for fancy hats. Any other news? People say Meredith is the real power in Kirkwall, not the Viscount. Even Dumar answers to her. Any other We've news? heard. The craziest thing. Apparently, the pigeon population has taken a nosedive in Ferelden. Ah, good old Shale getting her vengeance. Individual praise on those innocent things. The birds are not innocent, sir. Any other news? You hear about the Isle of Redcliffe? Some say Andraste herself reached down and cured him so he could unite the land. And that's pretty much all we're really going to know about that. Any other news? I hear rumors of a healer in Darktown who's looking after the sick. For free. Imagine that. Thanks. Thank I you for the local gossip, Anytime. bartender. You've been useful. Party pickers are right here. But we're going to go to here in order to go to family history in order to do Carver's command quest. Looking at this all wrong. Whatever it is you're about to say, I'm not interested. I'm a professional younger brother. Trust me, the center of attention's the worst place to be. When things go wrong, and they always do, that's where all the fingers point. Look at any kingdom in Thetis. You've got people who warm thrones, and people nobody sees who do the real work. And my sister is a queen in this scenario. Perfect. Point missing it. Oh well. Man, that's the... More mages. You talk. I'm going to ask the guards about their training. I know your face. I am Dr. Bryce. You and that man are both hawks. I remember your father. Malcolm. Was a good man. Huh. I found a letter you sent about a friend of his you could not name. Ah, the Templar. Your father could not write to him directly, lest the Order find out. The Templar? He allowed your father to leave Kirkwall. Rule is not served by caging the best of us. A wise man. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Hard to believe that a mage could have any sort of friendship with a Templar. That is the distrust of today. A reflex that now restrains... Listen to this person. Listen to him. I will send the letters I held. It seems fitting that they return to family. It's a bar because it's such a friendship. Yeah. Few like your father remain. Even fewer like the Templar. Rest well at the Maker's side, Sir Moravar Carver. Wow. This is actually the most interesting thing about Carver's character specifically. All right, let's go back to the house. We can fast travel to the house now, by the way. Someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. I, I was worried they would fall out. Oh, 
See, that's what I mean. Like, Gamlin has a point, but the game is like loose ends, Mirren, bait and switch. The dwarf named Anso contacted the Red Iron look for contact work, which could take him up with it, but we're past pressing business. We've pressing business, so I recommend you. Alright, we've unlocked the wheel to talk to Anzo, the wheel to go to the bone pit, and another little quest. Now it's time for Carver's turn at the fireplace. Here. I got you something. Why? We ended on a tense note last time. Take it Brothers as you will. Brothers fight. Brothers don't fight. Brothers don't be idiots. Brothers don't father. fight. We have brothers don't fight. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? Mm -hmm. I bet another mage could get more out of them. For your service that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, Conscience of the Order, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver? The Templar who allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prig? Father must have felt he was worth honoring. Yeah, we're talking about your dad, man. A man who let him look ahead. And a name that would always mean skill thoughtfully applied. Seems like he thought it held some promise. Not a link back, but how to go forward. That's what I was to him. I don't know what to say. Except, thank you. That's what family's for. Okay, so that's going to be it for me for today. We're going to figure out what to do about the rest of this stuff next time. Thank you guys for dealing with all my nonsense. It's just a lot. I was really just trying to figure out what to even do. Or what my schedule is going to be for the next couple of days. But it'll be stable pretty soon, I promise you.